Welcome guys, today we have WiMaxF multi-touch portable monitor that supports Mac as a touch monitor as well. So let's unbox it and give our first impressions by testing it out. Let's go. It's a standard box. You have all the features of it. It's a 15.6 inch size, IPS panel, high definition, takes USB, HD and also power delivery. That means you can directly connect a Mac uh, using a Thunderbolt. Um, let's unbox it. It's a decent safe packaging. It doesn't harm anything. It's a standard power connector, 5 volt um, power brick. Uh, probably takes USB A to USB C as a power. Um, yeah, there goes uh, the monitor. It's a big size, not so heavy, but um, has some casing as well not leather but still it, it does the job so it has a probably a trifold uh, option on the case and yes this is a magnetic case so you don't have to worry about connecting it or making it stand while you're on the go so um, yeah this is how it stands let's see what else is in the box There's a cloth to wipe and clean the display, some standard documentation with the support options, and a user manual, which is important to know how to change the settings. That's a mini HDMI to a regular HDMI cable if you're planning on connecting it only for display, not for touch. And um, there it is a USB A to USB C, which I believe is the power adapter. And this is a Thunderbolt USB C to USB C, um, which I'll be going to use for the Mac. And um, yeah, let's let's try um, visiting the display itself. It has the uh, VESA mounting on it. So if you're planning on putting it onto an arm, you can, a standard documentation. And this side, we see a power button a dial which is weird but it's good uh, it, it also acts as a volume and the menu and an aux port and the speaker is on the left uh, nothing on the bottom on the right you see a uh, on the go power micro USB USB C and the mini HDMI and nothing else on um, either of the top of top or bottom um, it, it is good um, speakers on both ends um to give you a decent thing now let's connect it to a macbook pro 16 inch which i have right now macbooks doesn't have the touch uh capability so probably this will add a touch capab capability access mostly a mouse when you do a touch i'm using a power delivery um thunderbolt probably a, a usb c connector which comes with a package uh, I don't need a power adapter when connecting using the USB-C Thunderbolt cables because it doubles as a power and a data transmission um, thing. So it boots up directly and mirrors by default. You can change that setting in your MacBook to extend the display. And uh, yeah, there it goes. It, it, the touch is working by default. You don't have to install any drivers or anything. So basic controls are on the left side. Uh, it's a little learning required. So the dial acts as a button as well, not only just the dial. So if you press it, the menu opens up and you can then switch between all the options and change the settings. Um, I'm going to increase the brightness because by default it is very light and not so bright. So I'm increasing it to the max just to show the um, feature. And there are settings as well, like a standard picture mode, gaming picture mode, movie, all the standard. It, it also supports a free sync as well. So if you're into gaming, yeah, this is one of the portable devices that you can carry with you. Let's test some speakers. I would not say speakers are great, but speakers are decent. Uh, for the on-go, it's great. And the size, you can compare it. My Mac has a 16-inch MacBook Pro, so it's almost the same size. 
so that's it guys i am very impressed with the quality and the performance of this portable monitor it's great to use it when you're on the go just with one cable connected that's it for today guys um thank you so much for um watching please like share subscribe and comment and follow all my social handles for more and more updates and unboxing devices